Hello boys and girls and happy Thursday. Today is April 30th. It's the last day of April. That's it. We say bye bye to the month of April today and we say hello to the month of May tomorrow. I hope you've been having a great week, especially with this story, Flat Stanley. Uh, today we're going to read a little bit more because tomorrow you'll get to see your surprise in the mail and you'll know what's going on. And we just have a little bit left of the story from today and tomorrow. So I really hope you've been enjoying the story. And let's see, let's go on with the book. Remember, it's Flat Stanley by Jeff Brown. And in the few days that we've been reading it, remember he was flat and he enjoyed being flat. And he was also helpful by helping his mom with getting her the ring that was down the drain and he helped his brother that wanted a kite by flying himself in the air as a kite how cool was that today we're gonna see how he was helpful once again so this one is about the museum thieves so Stanley being flat made him helpful again his parents friend Mr. Dart was the director of a famous museum and Stanley saw that he was very sad in the elevator. A painting was stolen in his museum. You can see here he's very, very sad. And they're looking in the news, in the newspaper, that his paintings were being stolen. There are some thieves that go at night to steal his paintings. Mr. Dart was sad because the museum is so big and the guards that take care of at night they work so many hours that they're so tired and can't catch these thieves. But guess what? Stanley had a great idea. He whispered his idea in Mr. Dart's ear and said, you'll find out now. And he was like, okay, you can do it. Let's try it out. And so, Miss, so Stanley took a really, really long nap and he went to work with Mr. Dart at nighttime because this was gonna happen overnight. And Mr. Dart showed Stanley his most expensive paintings in the main room and said, look, these are the ones that they've been stealing. So Stanley got into his disguise. He wore a white dress, some shiny shoes, a straw hat, and a wig. He was dressed as a shepherdess. Right here you can see, this is what Stanley dressed like and he stuck himself to the painting on the wall and nobody can see him, he was so disguised, he looked like the painting. So he stayed there to see if he can catch the thieves and he stayed there very, very still on the, to the painting. It was very, very dark while he was waiting in his disguise. Then he heard a creepy little sound. It was the thieves, they had come out from a hole under the ground Museum to steal another painting. So Stanley stood very still and listened to the sneaky thieves. When he thought it was a good time, look, they went in through this little hole. Look at them walking. They were dressed in black so they can't be seen. And they thought, we got this. We can steal another painting. And all of a sudden, Stanley, when nobody was looking, Stanley shouted, police, police, it's the sneaky thieves, they're here, get them. The thieves didn't know what to do. Mr. Dart and the police came rushing in and they caught them. They caught the sneaky thieves. Stanley saved the museum and he got a medal for saving the day. He was in the mail, it says here, hero, flat boy helps capture art thieves. And he was in the newspaper. So look at that. Being flat made him helpful again by catching the sneaky thieves. So tomorrow we're going to learn about Arthur's good idea. And this is will be the end of the story. And so you'll know what it is that you'll be getting in the mail. I hope you have a wonderful day, boys and girls.